Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amartya Rupani. And as promised that today's video is going to be a bit different and very helpful because we have a guest who is going to share his personal experience regarding Canada immigration. So without wasting any time, let's start. Hi Abhishek, how are you doing? Hey Amartya, I'm, I'm doing fine, thank you. How are you? Welcome. I'm good, thank you. So thank you so much for joining us today. And um, the purpose of uh, having you here is just because um, most of people ask me so many questions regarding Quebec immigration, right? Uh, that how to come to Quebec, how to get work permit in there and stuff like this. So I thought I should call somebody who has been this process, right? And can share sure. their experience and so that people can understand um, certain stuff. So, okay, before we start our uh, Q&A, today's Q&A session, uh, would you like to um, tell us about yourself? Sure. Firstly, congratulations on your channel. It's amazing, actually, the way you're helping out people and the way you're answering and helping their, you know, uh, providing answers to their questions. Uh, so congrats on that. I'm from India. So uh, prior to coming from India, I was working and then I thought I'll do, uh, you know, pursue higher education. So I came to Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, you said you have done a bachelor's uh, in India already, right? So would you like to tell us uh, about your course and stuff and university? Sure. Sure. I, uh, so basically I did my bachelor's in Hyderabad. So uh, there's a university called Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University. It's one of the uh, famous uh, universities, but it was affiliated with the, my, my college was affiliated to JNTU. So my college was Guru Nanak Engineering College. So I did my bachelor's in uh, computer science. Mm -hmm. And you said you have work experience uh, from back home, right? From India as well. So uh, where did you work? Would you like to tell, like sh share something? Where did you work? What was the position? So uh, yeah, I finished my bachelor's in computer science as I mentioned already. Uh, so I started working for a startup company uh, and my, my role was basically as a, uh, I started with testing, uh, then performance testing and automation testing. So it was startup. So I had to do not just one role, but I was doing many roles within the company. So uh, it, that actually helped me to learn multiple things. And then while working, I thought, okay, maybe, you know, uh, there's a need for uh, higher education. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe, you know, uh, let's go, uh, let's try, try it out to get, you know, higher education. Okay, so how did you apply to uh, come to Quebec and how much time did it take to you to come to Quebec um, on the basis All of right. study permit? Yeah. All right, so basically uh, I, I gave my IELTS first. Uh, so uh, I also had my GRE, but for Canada you don't need GRE. Uh, so you can, you, you need uh, just IELTS, uh, that would be suffice. So once you have your IELTS score, you can apply, start applying to the universities uh, based upon their eligibility criteria. Once you get an admit, you can start uh, proceeding with the further process. Like uh, you will probably have to pay the fees. Uh, once you get, once you pay the fee, you can, you know, apply for your loan uh, or GIC or show the bank uh, balance that's needed for your study permit. And once you get your study permit, uh, you know, the only option is now just fly. Okay. So did you hire any consultant or lawyer to get your study permit or do you apply by yourself? Uh, no, I, I went through a consultancy back in uh, India, Hyderabad, and uh, they actually helped me apply uh, to different universities. So yeah, they actually helped me out. But but again, if you if you already know uh, which colleges you're applying or, or which university you're applying, I, I don't think you even need a consultant. You can you can save money there. You can apply directly to uh, universities by yourself, and then you know they would reply. They would reply, and they they would help you out anyways. Okay. So would you like to share the total cost uh, uh, of your whole process, like the study permit process, from consultancy sure. fees to everything? Yeah, sure. So uh, each university probably has their own uh, application fees, uh, about like uh, $100 or $150. Uh, so like depends on how many universities you apply, you have to pay $100 each time or $150 each time depending on the university. And then uh, your IELTS would be about ten to 12,000 uh, 
rupees in INR, and uh, the entire cost for my education was about twenty-eight thousand to thirty thousand, and then uh, your study permit cost. And if you're going through a consultancy, you would also have to pay the consultancy cost. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose Quebec province? Why not other province of Canada? Uh, to be honest, I I had no idea uh, where I was going because I was already preoccupied with my work and. Uh, uh, I I was also into adventure club, uh, so I, I already had events and everything. So for me, it was just okay. I'm applying to these universities, and uh, you know, uh, let's see how it goes. So I was not sure. I didn't do, you know, a lot of research. I selected maybe you know as as my consultant suggested that okay, Quebec. Uh, is a nice, nicer profit province compared to other uh, because most of the other parts of Canada are cold. Okay, so our next question was, how about the living expenses of Quebec as compared to other provinces? Would you like to share uh, expenses for international students, uh, monthly expenses? Yeah, uh, so when you talk about expenses, I believe Quebec is much more uh, lesser on the cost side. Uh, when compared to other provinces or other major cities, uh, Vancouver or Toronto or Ottawa. Uh, with Quebec, you can stay within downtown, uh, you know, for a much more lesser price. You can have, uh, depends on if you're comfortable with sharing with other friends. So you can have a shared accommodation within, you know, within downtown. Uh, Concordia is in downtown. And, you know, we... We used to basically do uh, night projects and also sometimes we are just in the library for about 4 a.m., 5 a.m. And, you know, uh, it actually helps us uh, because you don't have the emotional, uh, you know, stress of, oh, I have to catch back the bus, you know, late at night and all. So it's just oh, everything at walkable distance. You have all the stores, everything, and you're actually living in downtown. So it's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... So how long did it take to you to complete your uh, graduation in, um, in Concordia University? Uh, so for me, uh, the graduation was about two years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I completed my graduation and then I started working. And you said it was in software engineering, right? Yeah, master's okay. in software engineering. So after uh, completing your graduation, so you decided to stay in Quebec, right? And you, yeah. applied, you applied for work permit? Yes, uh, the day I finished my uh, graduation, I, I applied for work permit. I actually had to go to the border because I needed, uh, you know, I couldn't wait because I was not sure when would I get a job. So I actually uh, went to the border, I did flag polling and then got my uh, permit. Okay, so, uh, and how long did it take to get your study permit? Oh, I mean work permit? Uh, they, they give you the same day if you go to the border. Mm -hmm. They give you the same day. That's uh, there's an option called flag polling. Most of the immigrants do it because yes. uh, if you apply online, it might take uh, you know 30 days or more. Uh, but you can start working. You can right. start working the day you applied because uh, it gives you applied status. But uh, if if you're in hurry and if you need you know like you just have to go to the border or do a flag polling. Uh, what's like if I have to explain what's flag pulling? Flag pulling is you cross the border, uh, but you don't go to the other border. Right. You your entry is denied, and you just take a turn and get back to the same border of Canada. I went uh, across the border, was denied entry at the U.S., and then I came back to Canada. Okay, so uh, right now it is not possible to do the flag polling because of COVID-19 because the exactly. U.S. border is closed. So yeah, people have to apply online. So after graduation, of course, your next step would be to find a job in Canada, in Quebec, right? Which is the most difficult part. So would you like to share your journey about that? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So mm -hmm. as you mentioned, it's difficult just because uh, Quebec is mostly French. Mm -hmm. And most of the companies, they are looking for people who can communicate in French. Because if you have a team, they're working. If you have to work with a team, uh, you need to communicate with them, right? So the, they're comfortable with their own language, which is French. So it's sometimes difficult because they they are, are rigid about their language because mm -hmm. they want uh, to preserve their culture, exactly. language and culture. 
true yeah uh, mm-hmm. but with so many immigrants and all most of the companies especially it they're uh, you know a bit going flexible uh, instead of being rigid because uh, it's it's hardly it's it's uh, very difficult for them actually to find people uh, you know with the skill set and all and who knows french so a lot of people here they do not go or proceed further uh, and pursue higher education they just do their bachelors and then they start working so uh, it's difficult for companies to find people who are, who speak french and also are you know are very well versed with technology mm-hmm. so that's that's where actually uh, it it's helpful for people who speak english now it's it's starting to uh, be bilingual but again uh there are most most of the companies who are still rigid and they uh they want you to speak french mm-hmm. so you found a job right yeah so what is your position and how do you find a job so so i'm currently working as a senior technical business analyst mm-hmm. uh at a canadian company uh the thing is for me my clients are bilingual so i mean not bilingual my company is uh, french but my clients are mostly english so i have to go to the states uh, because all my clients are you know uh, states or canada so i work for crown companies so that when i say crown companies crown companies any company that works for the government right so that's a government uh, company so i work for those companies or my clients are those companies so it's easier for me to communicate uh, because it's all english but my company is uh, french so all my meetings and everything like email communications everything happens in french it's sometimes you know i understand but sometimes it's it gets difficult but people help me out so yeah and how long did it take you to get this job and is it your first job yeah. the one you're uh, doing no. it so, so as soon as i finished my uh, graduation i started looking for jobs uh, earlier there were like the times were different uh, it was even difficult to find a part time job and then also find internships but things have got a much more easier and comfortable for people who are coming now so internships like you know most of the companies have started offering internships so for uh, for me i never got that opportunity uh, for an internship so as soon as i finished uh, finished my graduation i started uh, applying uh through portals job portals like indeed linkedin zip recruiter and all uh it takes time it takes time because there are a lot of people who are graduating at the same time as you are mm-hmm. so it it takes time for the companies to see who is you know capable enough or who is the right uh, choice for that particular position so it sometimes takes you know uh time but uh at then i i believe everyone will the you know eventually land up with a job okay and how did you make your resume did you do it by yourself or did you uh, take experts um, suggestions recommendations and stuff like this uh, for me i already had my resume but i customized it uh, there are a lot of uh, people at the university or you know uh, online portals uh, especially universities they help out uh, people they conduct resume workshops and all how to how to create your resumes or even there are job fairs where people actually come in where you can meet and greet uh, you know the, the people from the company itself and then you know you can show the show your resume uh, and sometimes there are workshops so they can suggest you okay probably this is the way you need to create it or this is the way you need to probably edit it uh, and you can follow those steps and then uh, you know you can have a resume as per as per the standard it took 2 months to you to get your first job and how long did you do that job the first job uh i worked for about 2 years and then i uh, you know switched uh, but i'm still in montreal so i i like this place i i get connected i'm i'm a bit connected with this place because it, it's been almost 6 years uh now for me i've come to canada and this is the first place i came uh so i'm just uh you know used to this place now yeah that's great yeah montreal is one of the most beautiful cities of canada that i totally understand so are you learning french now uh, i've been learning french i i'm good at understanding but not that fluent uh, when it comes to 
speaking so i'm i'm but i'm still giving a try i mean it's not mandatory for me to learn but i'm still learning just because it will help me uh, you know it's always uh, beneficial to learn a new language did you apply for pr are you pr yet uh, i applied for pr as soon as i uh, got my cs group Mm-hmm. Uh, and you know i got my pr about 3 years ago you know once you get your pr and you live 3 years uh, out of 5 years uh, within the country then you you are eligible to apply if you have citizenship okay, so i've already cool. applied mm-hmm. and i'm due to covid it's a bit slower than mm-hmm. usual but uh, yeah hopefully i'll get a you know citizenship so you would recommend this uh, quebec province for immigrants new immigrants uh it's a nice place to live mm-hmm. but again uh, if you find it difficult for your uh, for your profile because the immigration laws have changed for quebec uh, they want you to learn french right uh, yeah they they want you to learn french and they're also providing free french uh, wherein you know for students they can also get paid mm-hmm. uh, they can get paid the government pays them and if you're doing it uh, part time uh or full time full time you get you need to do certain amount of hours and then part time is uh 3 days a week and it's 3 hours a day that you day. have to have french language in order to become pr right so um exactly yeah, this is yeah. one of the main changes so you were lucky kind of lucky because you did pr in like 3 years ago right so yeah exactly. that's yeah. that's great any tips or suggestions for future international students or future immigrants Canada is a very beautiful place and a very beautiful country uh and Montreal is uh is a city that connects to you so for me if i have to say like uh you know if i have to give an advice uh to people or a suggestion i would say like you know depending on how how comfortable you are uh shifting to a different place uh getting adapted to the new culture and uh area and a new lifestyle most part of the canada is cold so you also need to assess if you are comfortable with that because mostly it's when when it's winters it's harsh so you it's it's upon you to decide like uh how comfortable you would be right so that's a question you need to ask yourself but apart from that i mean you have a good lifestyle here yeah you know once you get graduated you have uh, about if if you do a one year course you get one year of work permit but if you do a two year course you get two years of uh, three years of work permit right that gives you ample amount of time to see if you're liking the place or not and then also start working and see you know uh, if you want to go ahead with your pr and then once you got your you know once you get your pr and then you can go with your citizenship and uh trust me the people are very nice here and the culture is very 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 beautiful the place itself is very beautiful so again it depends on how and what you're comfortable with okay so yeah that's pretty much it for today uh, abhishek and i thank you so much for joining us today and answering all of those questions and sharing your story and i'm pretty much sure these all things are going to help everyone uh, like future immigrants and um So yeah uh, thank you thank you Amrita I would I would actually like to thank you for having me again and uh, you know I'm glad I'm, I was uh, I was helpful I, I could actually you know provide all those details maybe uh, people will find it helpful Mhm thank you so much and thank have you. a great day and we'll keep in touch in the future so yeah see you bye bye Thank you see you Okay guys so that was pretty much it for today and I hope you have learned a lot of stuff from Abhishek and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment box I will be more than happy to answer them as soon as possible and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe my channel because there's a lot more coming up for you guys till then you take care and I'll see you again